What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. And what you see here is a Convection Works 1500 watt extra large convection oven. It is nice. Let's take a look around it. That's the sides. Nothing to see much there. That's the back. Let's take a look at the top. Let's open it up. Look in there, y'all. See if I can show you. Yeah, there we go. Comes with a bacon pan, of course. And this is your rack, and I think this is like a rotisserie holder or something like that. We'll get to that in, later on in this video. But by the way, this does, uh, let the, uh, spoiler alert, uh, this does rotisserie. So, of course, that's completely awesome. And we're going to use that in this video. So you stay tuned. Ladies, pull up your socks because I'm going in for real. And of course, this comes with the rotisserie connection. Like I said, we'll do that later. Look, y'all, they even give you a bamboo cutting board with this. Now, look, guys, it also comes with two silicone pot holders, which is cool. Um, the crumb tray comes installed, so I didn't show you that because it out the box. Um, the crumb, well, at least on mine, the crumb tray was already installed, so not sure where it says, but it's already in there. So, anyway. So let's take a little detailed look right here on the front. So those are where you um, where you're gonna put your trays, what levels you got bake on the bottom, toast in the middle, broil of course on the top. So let's go ahead and of course that lights up. Let's look at all the features there. You got toast, bagel, pizza, bake, broil, cookies, roast, warm, defrost. Reheat. That ain't bad, y'all. Let's look right there. So, convection, rotisserie, start, pause, or hold to cancel. That's your select. And that is your timer, or darker or lighter. Alright. Okay, guys. So, just looking at this, I could tell you right now what I love about it so far. So, I was playing around with it just briefly for like five seconds, and I noticed there's no preheat. Some of these ovens have preheat, and you got to wait till it preheats to win. And I think that's an overrated feature. Some of you may not, but I think that's overrated. You do not need to pre. Well, the stuff that I make in my ovens, you don't need a preheat. So... I love that it doesn't have a preheat. It has a light, which we'll see in a moment. It has a defrost feature, which is not all ovens have that. And I'm telling you, that's a great feature. I don't particularly like to use defrost, but sometimes I have to. Sometimes I forget to defrost something. And um, I I'd rather do it naturally, but if I had to do it in something like this, I'll do it. And that's a great feature to have. And of course, it does rotisserie. So... Let me go ahead and put the bake pan in, right here, and I'm going to make my um, son some garlic sticks, and we'll test that out real quick. Now you know this has a bagel function and a toast function, but I'm going to go ahead and still use um, the bake function. but. I was tempted to try out the bagel feature, but I'm assuming that would probably be best for just cooking one side. Like, so, 
But it's cool that they have that feature. Toast and bagel separate. I like that. Alright, first let's look at the controls real quick. Alright, so we're gonna go I'm gonna push down on this and oh good. So it gave me an option for the time. So I want about six minutes and then I want four twenty-five. Now what I love about this oven, it is just straightforward. It's just easy to operate. 425. Boom. And now I guess I need to hit start. All right. No preheating. I could dig it. I love that about this. Cool. Alright guys. I'd say it did a pretty great job. It smells completely awesome. Yeah, smell it. Let me zoom in. Mm -mm -mm. Alright guys, I got a whole chicken all seasoned up. Um, I let it sit there and marinate for about an hour or so. So, ready to get it in there, um, get it in the oven and, and see what we got. It smells good. I love the season. I'll tell you what seasons I put in it later if I remember. <laughs> All right, guys, I got my rotisserie chicken in. So I'm going to select roast. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? Let me, go. Let me zoom in a little bit. You can at least see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm on roast. I could take rotisserie off, I could take convection off, but I'm going to put both of them on. Okay, so I'm going to hit the bottom dial, and I'm going to change the time. Wait. I'm going to change the time to an mm, hour and a half. May not need that long, but just to be sure. Then I'm going to change the temperature to 375. Even though I suggested 350, I'm going to go with 375. Click that. So that's all set. And so now all I have to do is press this button and boom. There you have it. Set timer for an hour. One hour, starting now. Okay guys, a couple things I want to show you because uh, we should be almost done. I'm not sure. I'm about to um, put my meat thermometer in and check where we're at. We got about 12 minutes left, but just wanted to show you. So if I press this, push this in, that will turn on the light. So I want to show you. So if I, if I press that, or push it in like I said, watch. See? Turns on the light. That's cool. Another thing I want to show you is, I don't know if you can see it, but this is the start, the pause, and the cancel button. If I hold it down for like two seconds, it will cancel it. If I press it once, it will pause it, like I'm going to do right now. And I'm going to check the, um, the temperature where we're at. See, it's blinking. So that's cool. It has a pause. All right, guys, we are finally done. Just check the uh, temperature and it's at 198, so that's good enough for me. So let's take it out and let it rest for a little bit. All right, guys, that's the finished product. So it took me uh, one hour and 45 minutes at 375. 
and that got me basically 200 degrees, 198, 199, something like that. So, yeah, about to cut it up, and I'm like, I'm gonna make me a dinner plate, y'all. Smelling really yummy. Still piping hot, y'all. I'll give it a few minutes. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Alright guys, let me just get out some of this mac and cheese real quick. Not too much. That's enough. All right, guys. Y'all already know I'm starving. So let's go ahead and have some of this chicken together. I'm gonna get this. Get this piece. This piece got the most stuff on it. First, we're gonna have some of this skin. It's important. We're gonna have a tagava. Y'all ready? Go ahead. Eat it. Got it? All right, let's take a bite. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. That's too good. Take that. Got it? Mm -mm 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 -mm. This chicken is good. It is really, really good. It's just falling off, too. Yeah, I'll take that. You got it? Mmm. I don't know what to say. It's just too good. You guys got to try this. You got to get this oven and do the rotisserie on this and try it for yourself. It is just so good. I'm going to have some of this mac and cheese with me, y'all. You got it? All right. Mmm. So creamy, so cheesy. I'm about to slap somebody. All right, let, let me pause it. I, I got to eat this. I, I'll be back. Okay, guys. Whew, that was tasty. I'm now full. I'm good. And I'm ready to give you my opinion about this oven. And my opinion is you guys should definitely get it. If you do not have, if you're in the market to get a big oven for your countertop, and you have the space, I definitely recommend this because it's straightforward. I love the features. Um, it's comparable to any one, any of the top ones in the market right now um, as far as features, as far as size. Um, yeah, it's up there. So definitely check it out. I'll put a link in the description as always. Um, where to get this? I got on. Well, the, uh, shout out to Convention Convection Works because they sent this out for me. Uh, sent this out to me for free to review to you guys. But I kind of begged them to give you guys a discount. So now until the end of the month, I'm gonna provide a code and you'll get a twenty percent discount with that code. Um. You know, in the checkout of this uh, machine, so that's a significant savings. So definitely utilize that if you if you want to get this, you're gonna get twenty percent off, which is awesome. Also, let's zoom in here because I've had my fair share of rotisserie machines and different, um, you know, different toaster ovens or convection ovens, and I must say. 
usually you'll get a lot of splatter and a lot of cleanup and with this is very minimal which is awesome now I did use some um, what do you call it In my journey with toaster ovens I realized that um, what do you call it degreasers uh, clean the glass really good so that's all I did so far but everything else I didn't even touch yet and you don't you don't I don't see much splatter at all so it stood up very well to the rotisserie chicken as you know that's that's splattering all over the place so props on that so like I said man if you're looking for one I definitely recommend it now of course I already have um, an oven in my kitchen mine was $400 so I don't think anything will replace that but it was, certainly if I didn't have this It'd be certainly on my counter. Well, it's free anyway. But it, it, I, I definitely, I would put this, this is up there with, I'm telling you, the top three. This is definitely up there. So I definitely co-sign this. So if you like it, don't be afraid of success. Click the link, get the discount, and get it for yourself. It's on Prime. And that's pretty much all I got to say. So um, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe, and if anything, thanks for even looking at my video, y'all. It's Cooking with Doug, and I'm out.